Capsid. A capsid is the protein shell of a virus. It consists of several oligomeric structural subunits made of protein called protomers. The observable three-dimensional morphological subunits, which may or may not correspond to individual proteins, are called capsomeres. The capsid encloses the genetic material of the virus. Capsides are broadly classified according to their structure. The majority of viruses have capsides with either helical or icosahedral structure. Some viruses, such as bacteriophages, have developed more complicated structures due to constraints of elasticity and electrostatics. The icosahedral shape, which has 20 equilateral triangular faces, approximates a sphere, while the helical shape resembles the shape of a spring, taking the space of a cylinder but not being a cylinder itself. The capsid faces may consist of one or more proteins. For example, the foot and mouth disease virus capsid has faces consisting of three proteins named VP13. Some viruses are enveloped, meaning that the capsid is coated with a lipid membrane known as the viral envelope. The envelope is acquired by the capsid from an intracellular membrane in the virus host. Examples include the inner nuclear membrane, the Golgi membrane, and the cell's outer membrane. Once the virus has infected a cell and begins replicating itself, new capsid subunits are synthesized using the protein biosynthesis mechanism of the cell. In some viruses, including those with helical capsides and especially those with RNA genomes, the capsid proteins co-assemble with their genomes. In other viruses, especially more complex viruses with double-stranded DNA genomes, the capsid proteins assemble into empty precursor procapsids that includes a specialized portal structure at one vertex. Through this portal, viral DNA is translocated into the capsid. Structural analyses of major capsid protein MCP, architectures have been used to categorize viruses into lineages. For example, the bacteriophage PRD1, the algal virus Paramecium bursaria chlorella virus, PBCV1, Mimivirus and the mammalian adenovirus have been placed in the same lineage, whereas tailed, double-stranded DNA bacteriophages, called ovirales, and herpes virus belong to a second lineage. Dot. Specific shapes. Icosahedral. The icosahedral structure is extremely common among viruses. The icosahedron consists of 20 triangular faces delimited by 12 five-fold vertexes and consists of 60 asymmetric units. Thus, an icosahedral virus is made of 60 N protein subunits. The number and arrangement of capsomeres in an icosahedral capsid can be classified using the quasi-equivalence principle proposed by Donald Casper and Aaron Klug. Like the Goldberg polyhedra, an icosahedral structure can be regarded as being constructed from pentamers and hexamers. The structures can be indexed by two integers h and k, with h greater than or equal to 1, backslash display style h backslash g1, and k greater than or equal to 0 backslash display style k backslash geek 0, the structure can be thought of as taking h steps from the edge of the pentamer, turning 60 degrees counterclockwise, then taking k steps to get to the next pentamer. The triangulation number t for the capsid is defined as. In this scheme, icosahedral capsides contain 12 pentamers plus 10 t minus 1, hexamers. The T number is representative of the size and complexity of the capsides. Geometric examples for many values of H, K, and T can be found at list of geodesic polyhedra and Goldberg polyhedra. Many exceptions to this rule exist, for example, the polyomaviruses and papillomaviruses have pentamers instead of hexamers in hexavalent positions on a quasi T equals 7 lattice. Members of the double-stranded RNA virus lineage, including rheovirus, rotavirus and bacteriophage V6 have capsides built of 120 copies of capsid protein, corresponding to a T equals 2 capsid, or arguably a T equals 1 capsid with a dimer in the asymmetric unit. Similarly, many small viruses have a pseudo T equals 3, or P equals 3, capsid, which is organized according to a T equals 3 lattice but with distinct polypeptides occupying the three quasi-equivalent positions. T numbers can be represented in different ways, for example T equals 1 can only be represented as an icosahedron or a dodecahedron and, depending on the type of quasi-symmetry, T equals 3 can be presented as a truncated dodecahedron, an icosidodecahedron, or a truncated icosahedron and their respective duals a triacus icosahedron, a rhombic triacontahedron, or a pentacus dodecahedron. Dot. Prolate. An elongated icosahedron is a common shape for the heads of bacteriophages. 
Such a structure is composed of a cylinder with a cap at either end. The cylinder is composed of 10 elongated triangular faces. The Q number, or TMID, which can be any positive integer, specifies the number of triangles, composed of asymmetric subunits, that make up the 10 triangles of the cylinder. The caps are classified by the T, or TEND, number. Helical Many rod-shaped and filamentous plant viruses have capsides with helical symmetry. The helical structure can be described as a set of N1D molecular helices related by an N-fold axial symmetry. The helical transformation are classified into two categories, one-dimensional and two-dimensional helical systems. Creating an entire helical structure relies on a set of translational and rotational matrices which are coded in the protein data bank. Helical symmetry is given by the formula P equals mu x rho, where mu is the number of structural units per turn of the helix. Rho is the axial rise per unit and P is the pitch of the helix. Doubt the structure is said to be open due to the characteristic that any volume can be enclosed by varying the length of the helix. The most understood helical virus is the tobacco mosaic virus. The virus is a single molecule of, plus, strand RNA. Each coat protein on the interior of the helix bind three nucleotides of the RNA genome. Influenza viruses differ by comprising multiple ribonucleoproteins. The viral NP protein organizes the RNA into a helical structure. The size is also different. The tobacco mosaic virus has a 16.33 protein subunits per helical turn, while the influenza A virus has a 28 amino acid tail loop. Functions The functions of the capsid are two. The virus must assemble a stable, protective protein shell to protect the genome from lethal chemical and physical agents. These include forms of natural radiation, extremes of pH or temperature and proteolytic and nucleolytic enzymes. For non-enveloped viruses, the capsid itself may be involved in interaction with receptors on the host cell, leading to penetration of the host cell membrane and internalization of the capsid. Dot delivery of the genome occurs by subsequent uncoating or disassembly of the capsid and release of the genome into the cytoplasm, or by ejection of the genome through a specialized portal structure directly into the host cell nucleus. Origin and Evolution It has been suggested that many viral capsid proteins have evolved on multiple occasions from functionally diverse cellular proteins. The recruitment of cellular proteins appears to have occurred at different stages of evolution, so that some cellular proteins were captured and refunctionalized prior to the divergence of cellular organisms into the three contemporary domains of life, whereas others were hijacked relatively recently. As a result, some capsid proteins are widespread in viruses infecting distantly related organisms, for example, capsid proteins with the jelly roll fold, whereas others are restricted to a particular group of viruses, for example, capsid proteins of alphaviruses.